The British Army has officially initiated the rollout of its state-of-the-art Ajax tracked reconnaissance vehicles, marking the first large-scale replacement of the long-serving CVR -T, fleet in over four decades. Announced via the Royal Armoured Corps' official X account on August 2, 2025, this deployment assigns the cutting-edge platform to three premier armoured cavalry regiments, the Household Cavalry Regiment, the Royal Dragoon Guards, and the Royal Lancers, alongside reconnaissance units embedded within armoured regiments. This move signals a historic shift away from the FV-107 Scimitar and other CVR -T, series vehicles, which have been operational since the 1970s and proved their value in conflicts from the Falklands to Afghanistan. Despite their speed and mobility, these older vehicles can no longer withstand modern battlefield threats, making their replacement both overdue and essential. The Ajax introduces a leap forward in capability with advanced armor protection, a powerful 40mm CT-40 cannon, and a fully digitized networked architecture linking surveillance, targeting, and communications into a unified system. With its high-speed mobility, sophisticated hydropneumatic suspension, and modular defensive suite, Ajax is built to survive and operate in contested environments where older platforms would have been overwhelmed. Each of the three recipient regiments will see its mission capabilities expanded significantly. The Household Cavalry Regiment, already tasked with forward intelligence gathering and route surveillance, gains extended range sensors and greater survivability. The Royal Dragoon Guards, structured for high readiness global deployment, will benefit from Ajax's enhanced standoff reconnaissance capabilities and improved battlefield awareness. The Royal Lancers, known for their expertise in terrain analysis and enemy tracking, will now be equipped with advanced thermal optics, panoramic sights, and encrypted digital links to command elements, allowing for dispersed yet highly coordinated operations. Additional reconnaissance troops within armored formations such as the King's Royal Hussars and Royal Tank Regiment will also adopt Ajax to complement Challenger 2 and the upcoming Challenger 3 main battle tanks. Operating ahead of heavy armor, these units will use Ajax to secure crossing points, detect enemy forces, and engage potential threats long before they endanger larger formations. Built by General Dynamics Land Systems UK, Ajax comes as part of a six-variant family that includes vehicles for command, repair, engineering reconnaissance, and armoured personnel transport. This modular approach enables the British Army to tailor reconnaissance groups for diverse missions, from rapid intelligence gathering to frontline support for tank and infantry brigades. The platform's development initially faced challenges, including vibration issues during trials, but has now cleared all major testing phases. The Ministry of Defense plans to field over 500 units before 2030, making Ajax the cornerstone of its future soldier modernization strategy and a critical element of Britain's long-term land warfare doctrine. Beyond simply replacing outdated reconnaissance assets, Ajax transforms the role of British armoured scouts on the battlefield. It turns intelligence collection from a largely passive task into an active, precision-enabled combat function, detecting, identifying, and even striking enemy positions while sharing real-time data across multiple domains. This capability strengthens the Army's ability to dominate information flows, maneuver decisively, and shape engagements in modern high-intensity warfare. With the phased introduction of Ajax across its armored cavalry regiments, the British Army is not just updating its fleet, it is redefining how ground reconnaissance is conducted, ensuring that its forces remain highly capable, connected, and combat-effective in the complex battlefields of the future.